uh, look at these two guys that entered the room. NTR Jr., Ram Charin from RRR. How you doing, boys? Great, Clayton. Great. Great. Thank Great. you. Thank you for having us. Oh, thank you for coming in on this rainy day. That just means that the gods are crying because you're in L.A. finally. Wow. We're so finally, excited yeah. that you're finally here. The rain god is blessing us. Yeah. Sure. <laughs> How has this ride of RRR been for the both of you? It's been a global box office sensation it is super popular here it feels great i mean it's it's, it's overwhelming you know, sometimes you think about it la has <clears throat> always been a spot of for holiday or 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 america as such was a place for holiday or you know meeting family yeah. you know but all of a sudden la and america in general america in general has become a workplace now you know we've never imagined this would happen. Yeah. You know, we come from the southernmost part of India, the southern part of India. And uh, here we are today. Very proud of being Indians, you know? <clears throat> yeah, Clayton, I still can't believe I'm sitting in the studio in LA. And like you said, it was always uh, a place of pleasure. And coming here for work, it is still digesting. I'm still, you know, getting around it. Uh, I think it's great. And it's, uh, as the world is becoming one, the cinema is also becoming one and uh, uh, you know you guys have really been kind and, uh, you know you appreciated us and it's really overwhelming to be here yeah it's, it's easy to to be kind to movies that are great movies and this came from the insane mind of ss rajamouli he I, I don't i would give anything to read the production notes on this movie to see what someone thought was too far or not or that we shouldn't do that part because it's so yeah. out there and it works so well absolutely you guys filmed this in 2018 started it started, started. In 2018 yes and then ran ended to 2021 i guess just 21 before. just <laughs> a couple of months before the release is when we did our last shot <laughs> and pandemic obviously played obviously. into yeah, that yeah obviously. yeah we lost an eight months there like this everyone. was technically supposed to be the fastest movie of ssr <laughs> but, but he planned it you know yeah. he 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 planned for that but didn't happen, <laughs> but didn't yeah. happen yes we were hit by the pandemic i mean no no second thoughts about that the whole world was you know the whole world was in a standstill yeah. so were we we had to get off and 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 stop shoot and halt and then move on again but having said that Rajmoli still took his sweet time. <laughs> and I like, you know, I would like to agree with you on one thing, the insane mind <laughs> of SSR. Yes, <laughs> he is insane. Let's talk about Natu Natu. Uh, nominated for Golden Globe, shortlisted at the Academy Awards for Best Original Song. Yep. I believe NTRU told me recently, SS Rajmoli only likes to do things that he feels everyone can do. Mm -hmm. I watch Natu Natu, Ram. Mm -hmm. I don't think I can do a lot of it. I can do some of it, um, but you did multiple takes for it. Having our unique style ourselves, each of us, and just to be in sync and have one style called SSR style. So that was the most difficult part. It's not the choreography that was very difficult or you know pulled us down or made our knees wobble. <laughs> yeah, but it's just uh, getting into sync of uh, what Mr. Rajmali was trying to ask us from this and today I understand, of course, it was the toughest song we did in terms of getting the synchronization. But today I can understand why it is what it is. <clears throat> ah, because everybody, in you know, including, I'm sure you would have tried it too, Clayton. No, I, I, yeah, I you, you would have. So yeah, you know. So <laughs> yeah. so so that's the idea I think Rajmoli had. You know, he does not want to give you know give you these so super complicated steps. I mean, if you see what he's done in Magadhira and or 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 what I've done in yeah. my movies with Raj Mauli before. He does not like to complicate his dance, mm -hmm. you know, especially in, in, in his movies, you know. Mm -hmm. It goes into the heart of the audiences only when you are willing or you have the chance to try it. Mm -hmm. You don't want to sit down here and say, oh my God, you know, I can never do that. No, you wouldn't want to give it a try. Yeah. And that's exactly what Raj Mauli had in his mind you know when people are not willing to try or even capable enough to try doing it why will it why will it be nominated into the into the golden globes today yeah. or shortlisted on you know for the oscars mm -hmm. i think that was his his idea as he said the toughest part was the synchronization it, <laughs> yeah. it was not the step by itself wow. talking about your characters in the film ram you represent fire you represent water and TR. Was there ever a moment that you guys thought about what it would be like if you had swapped roles, if you had played the other one? Do you think that actually could have 
No, Change just the blogging. other day I was telling, um, I think both our characters are very similar to us in real. And it, it came very natural when we were doing the scenes. Um, so I don't know, maybe I would love to try just for the heck of it to, to get into NTR's <laughs> nature and character and mind. <laughs> I would love to, why not? But I would tell you something for sure. I personally feel that, you know, with the friendship we've had over the past 20 years or 15 odd years, I think Charan's more of water because he he's he's I would say he's he's an introvert for sure. A little bit of extrovert qualities here and there come in and go. But I feel that Charan's more water for me because, you know, when you look at the sea in general, you know, you really cannot estimate the depth of it. Mm -hmm. It's just so peripheral. You don't know what's happening inside it. Yeah. Unless and until you are willing to go deep into it. So for me, Charan as as a person in general is 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 very deep. You you cannot estimate <laughs> what you're getting into unless and until you're willing or he is willing mm -hmm. to invite you. So I would say that Charan's Charan for me is water. Mm -hmm. I'm somebody. Yeah, I'm an I extrovert. Would, I, would, I, would, I would definitely agree on that. I'm and uh, and Charan is somebody like what you see is what you get. Yeah. There's nothing hidden. Uh, so he is all in or all out. <laughs> <laughs> it's as simple as that. If you want to do it, you'll do it. And if, if you don't, then it's just not Yeah, thing. that's impossible to make him do, I think. <laughs> I, I, I appreciate that. Looking at some of those other scenes, I'm thinking about the swap again. Uh, there's one key killer scene in which you are on the shoulders of NTR. How, yeah. <laughs> so how do you plan for that scene? And are you harnessed or are you actually holding the weight? There was of, a safety of, harness. Yeah. There was a safety harness. You know what? Again, 60% of it was still, was still I was still on setting on yeah. him. That was a tough sequence for him. That was tough. Mm. But that's the reason I don't want to swap for such sequences. <laughs> you don't want to carry no, me I'm on happy shoulders. With you do not want to carry me after I put on so much weight. No, no. now yeah, maybe he could try yeah. because I've 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 lost yeah. a bit of that muscle mass and I'm a little leaner than what I was back then. That was hell of a sequence. It really demanded a lot from us, and you know what? It's not easy to be on a safety harness for a very long time. You know, it's so uncomfortable. You know, if you look at it, I have I was carrying him, but he was doing all these weird stunts from up there. You know, he was on a harness. But yeah, uh, having my, said that, it is our not, race was is, almost going purple. Yeah, yeah. After the so second day of holding the harness, that is not easy. I mean, you <laughs> might think that just sitting on yeah the my shoulders is easy. No, so it was it was not easy on. For both of us, and it was that not. went on for fifteen days yeah. and nights. Yeah, oh, fifteen nights. Sorry, fifteen nights. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah. You said you you put on some mass. I mean, you guys both bulked up a yeah. lot for, for yeah. this yeah. for yeah. this role. What was your routine to get yourself uh, prepared? Simple, plain routine, Clayton. You know, this is what everybody in the yeah, uh, you everybody. Know, everybody. everybody it's history. just there's nothing special to it. It's the same thing. You know, you know, like, like how every actor prepares. But the only thing was challenging is we had to keep that shape. We had to retain that shape or muscle we've retained for a very long time, for three years. So that was difficult because when we were, when we were halted by the pandemic, we still had to keep working out every day. Yeah, that constantly, difficult. you know, be in shape. Three years is a lot to carry that kind of a body. That's that it, it. Um, that was tough. What's yeah. like your calorie intake during that time to put on the, <sighs> the weight? Because that's what I'm going to say. I, I'm putting on weight for a role right now. That's why I'm bulking up for, for this, right? That's what, that's what I'm going to use it. So, uh, Come but, train with us. I was put on about 3,000 calories a day. I was eating seven meals yeah. a day. Took me somewhere around a good 16 months to 17 to achieve that. Ooh. Tarek is very particular in how he eats and the calorie count. I've seen him on sets. <laughs> he would never eat. He would look at my food and... <laughs> Just smell it, but he would never <laughs> touch for three years. He did that. And I'm somebody, I think I'm more uh, uh, organic in my approach. I cannot. It's too much for me. I need some good food, bad food every day. <laughs> part of my, I need my sweets every day. And I think it took about, about seven to eight months yeah. uh, here and there. But the worst part was, uh, the most difficult part was to not eat and not have any of that. Just to take a back seat during the pandemic. Yeah. The scene in which you two meet. Yeah. Swinging off bridges, wow. saving uh, little kids, uh, wrapping yourself in fire, <laughs> throwing flags. I mean, yeah. like, what is that all green screen or? I wish the pendulum swinging was also in on green screen, but no, yeah. that was that was real. That was real. The flag was real. For Twelve days the, we both were suspended. Uh, oh my god! Please don't even. 
it, t- it took 12 days. That yeah, was... the whole bridge yeah. breaking, the, the trial, and then our both uh, both of us meeting, and then the under, underwater sequence after that, the whole sequence. Can you sequence. believe that was the third day of the shoot? Oh, When yeah. we started in 2018, the first two days were, was begins, very normal, yeah. you know. I was I was driving the bike, he was sitting behind me, and the first it was day. just chill, the first two days. You know, we thought, wow, you know, it's nice. But that's when it started. What's cooler, riding a motorcycle or riding a horse? I think I love horses. I love, I love and cars. I can't, <laughs> and I'm not very good on bikes. Yeah. And yeah, why is it worse? <laughs> <laughs> I want to talk about the Tollywood of it all because this has been a great eye-opening experience for, for me myself. And I'm someone who loves film, loves non-English language. Can you talk about that impact for Tollywood and hopefully get to a place where it's not Bollywood, Tollywood, we're just Indian cinema. And then we're all just talking about cinema. I think we've already reached that stage, Clayton, now. Uh, well, I would I would say RRR was this 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 icing icebreaker. on cake, yeah. But uh, I think with Bahubali, <clears throat> somewhere Rajmali was this 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 director who could erase the imaginary lines of North North film industry or Southern film industry. You know, the Northern and the Southern, or the East or the West. We have different film industries. We have the Kannada, we have the Tamil, we have the Malayalam. We have the Telugu, we have the Hindi, we have the Bhojpuri, we have the Bengali. I mean, we are people who have the highest, um, you know, amount yeah. of film industries in one individual country. So with Bahubali, I think Rajmauli could could erase those yeah. imaginary lines and made it one Indian, big Indian <laughs> film. I think RRR added to it. RRR made it one big Indian film industry today. You know, today... Globally, yes. Globally, uh, you know. I think today we don't represent... You know, first we are Teledites and then we are Indians, as I mentioned before. It, 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 it fills us with a lot of pride that we are Telugu people sitting down here and talking. But again, you know, today I think we are Indians as well. So so it it, it is a great breakthrough, you know, for, for us to sit down here and, and talk about work, share our culture, share our work patterns. You know, it, 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 it feels amazing. You know, it is it's really good. And, and it happened only because of, of one person's dream. SSR, yeah. SS Rajamauli, you know? And I think that's, it's, it's, it's a very clear example of when a master storyteller comes out with master stories. I think that's when everybody in the globe is ready to reach out, I mean, you know, to, 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 to accept it. I mean, we all knew the breakthrough was inevitable. It had to happen at some point. At some point, yeah. And uh, it happened with Bahubali, uh, the whole of India and Asia knew who SSR was. And now the West is also enjoying his films yeah. as the world is becoming one, cinema is becoming one, the boundaries are being erased. Cinema is one language, that's mm-hmm. the experience, that's the emotion, which uh, he somewhere cracked it in India uh, uh, until today. And uh, Indian audience have been uh, enjoying his emotion universally. And now even the West understands that it's not coming from a small state in India, but it's just a movie that has been produced and made in that small state. I think that was that should be the focus, you know. That, uh, yeah, I don't think we want to look up. Uh, I mean, we want to be addressed like a person coming from a small state and everything. But cinema is bigger than all of us, and I'm really proud that we're all part of this journey. And it began with SSR's uh, RRR. Yes. I like what he said. You know, cinema has one universal language. I, yeah. I really agree to what he said, yeah. totally. That's the deep water we're talking about. <laughs> you know, it's, it's no secret you're sitting down here with the awards editor of Variety. Yes, this is yes. It. This is in the Oscar conversation. India didn't select it as its official submission. No shade to last film show. It's actually a very good movie. But everyone in the punditry world says you had a guaranteed win if you just chose RRR. Can you talk about, maybe we're not aware about the politics about India choosing a Tollywood movie that's in Telugu versus uh, other films that are typically in Hindi. Because I believe that, uh, by uh, history, they traditionally pick something that's in Hindi and not Telugu. And even oh, well, people yeah. who saw it on Netflix here, it's dubbed in Hindi, which I've never seen before. I've never seen non-English language film dubbed in another non-English language. Yeah. <laughs> so this has been uh, interesting to watch. Uh, a country with 1.4 billion people population I wouldn't say there's a lot of politics going on with choosing what films need to go, but I think, I think the panel which is sitting down there knows what they do the best. Mm-hmm. So I'm not gonna get down that road of talking about why 
RRR was not chosen as its official movie from the country. Well, talk about Hindi. I think, you know, Hindi has primarily been a national language for a very long time. So, and that's why, you know, it's, it's, it's been, I think Hindi has, has taken its prominence through that. <clears throat> But for us, or for me, at least I would say that choose RRR, don't choose RRR. RRR has already made us proud. I mean, Tarek is being really humble and nice, but I really want these two awards. <laughs> but at the same time, like he said, all of us talking about it, Clayton, you sitting here and even mentioning it yeah, about it, it itself uh, is it's quite satisfying for us and we're really grateful to the audience here and you. So rest, everything is a feather on the hat. So I'm going to see if that feather falls on our hat or not. That's Let's awesome. wait for another day. <laughs> I just did not want to jinx it. <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> keep, keep, keep good juju. One interesting thing that uh, we learned is how big the both of you are in India. I've had people describe uh, you as the rock and Vin Diesel, but like, <laughs> but, oh but, yeah. can, but can dance like, in, <laughs> in a fantastic manner. What has been the conversation about the two of you transitioning to American cinema and making a uh, big splash Why here. not? Why not? You know, wow. we're, we're actors, Clayton. Bring yeah. it on, I would say. Bring it on, you know? <laughs> yeah, bring it I on. I would love to explore this. We would love to. And What I kind love... of movie would you love to do? Like you said, Rock and Vin so Diesel. Vin Diesel, yeah. Yeah, to pick and with. <laughs> we'll do a Fast and Furious for <laughs> yeah. you. Yeah, absolutely. That would be great. But I mean, yes, you know, as actors, I think we have to be open to yeah. to, to to accept what's given to us. And uh, yeah, you know, we're, we're very open to... I'm actually uh, eager to... Uh, Eager to I'm actually waiting be a part to of a movie. Uh, have your directors experience us as well on the sets, and I think uh, we will do a great job. Ah, so yeah, Steven yeah. Spielberg is watching. He feel free to oh. grab these two and great. Get, a, <laughs> get a good movie going. Uh, I have some fun questions for you, but yeah, before sure. uh, that happens, I, I brought you guys something. And I thought it'd be great for us to talk with. Uh, oh my God! Wow! Some jaguars. Wow. Uh, <laughs> oh, is a tiger. A tiger. Well, no, both are, both are jaguars. jaguars. I think one is. That's a gift for right. me to you for, oh, thank for you coming so uh, th through uh, <laughs> our space so much, here. Uh, yeah. you, don't throw it at each other though, because no, no, no. we've seen you throw. No, I'm gonna go give it to my younger one. He loves tigers and jaguars. I, I want to talk about uh, your 20 years of friendship. I want to see how well you guys know each other. And uh, what animal would you want to be if you could be any animal? Horse. Would want to be so horse. we're going to answer for each other, right? Yeah, yeah you can answer okay, for each other. I think, oh, uh, for each other. Oh, no, actually, that'd be better. Yeah. You can answer for each yeah. other. Yeah. Horse. Horse. I think Charlie uh, would want to be a horse. Tiger. Tiger. Yeah. Is that true? Yeah. Yeah. Yep. Is a horse true? Yes, absolutely. Great. <laughs> <laughs> Who would last longer in an actual fight with a tiger? No. The two of you. Realistically, who would last no. a little longer, bit longer. Little longer? Realistically, I think both of us will run. <laughs> <laughs> It'll be foolish if you didn't take that hit. <laughs> if you were actually doing a dance battle of not do not do, who would win out of you two? I mean, uh, he would have got the step right, but uh, in terms of endurance, I would have gone. But he would have mm. got it perfectly in that. Moment. So, so the movie is correct then. <laughs> yeah, and, yeah. And given him the win, <laughs> you would have. All right. Who takes longer to do their hair on the day of a uh, shooting? Tarek. Really? Sharon. Tarek takes a long time Sharon. to do his hair. That, not, not the makeup, the hair. You're, the hair. You're, you're very right That's on your question. Not the you know, makeup. I, I, your I, hair I, bounces I, and waves. So no, I've like, got curly hair. Uh -huh. So it takes a little while. So to tame it, you know, it takes a little while. I think he's right there. Yeah. <laughs> Who broke character more on set? Who like laughed more or messed up? Tarek. 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 I think Tarek. Like it, Tarek is this, Tarek is a naughty boy who's not caught. <laughs> and I'm somebody who's caught. So yeah, so so yeah, so there's never going to be an answer where you know he he or me are going to win. No, it also he was a naughty it also boy. tells was... you that maybe I never did anything. <sighs> Ooh, there you go. <laughs> <laughs> no, 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 no. It's it's, it's Charan definitely the naughtiest. <laughs> What was the most fun you had on set? I think the most difficult uh, episode, and also I kind of uh, weirdly had fun was the 65 nights uh, of shooting the. The interval episode of us becoming arch rivals, mm. and then it's the intermission. So that episode, weirdly, 65, 65 nights. nights. I think nobody would, any actor would hate doing that, but I weirdly enjoyed it. Like, uh, like, a, uh, like he told me one day, saying, uh, "I am the night owl. Mm -hmm. I like shooting in the nights, and he's more of a day person. So probably I enjoyed it more." Yeah. So I would say I would. I would say Natu Natu would definitely be something which is a good, which was a great experience. I had fun as well, but there was a lot of torture <laughs> for that. But but 
you know, we were in Ukraine. We would do that for everything, probably, you know, catch up, go out to a yeah. restaurant, you know, get some food. You know, we had that. We had a good yeah. family time as well. I would say Natu Natu yeah. in Ukraine was, in Kiev, just, just, was yeah. a fun experience. We're going to get sentimental. Please right. tell me the best quality about the other person. What I like is he's one person, not just me. I, I know uh, hundreds of people around him would say the same. He's somebody you can really rely on at any point of the day, any uh, any time of the day, at any situation in your life. You know you can make that one call to him and he'll be there. That's the trust he has built over the years with anybody and everybody he has ever come across in his life. And this is the number one quality I admire and love. And he's a great father, he's a great husband, great actor, and more than anything, he's a great friend. One of the very, very, very few friends, you know, you have, you know, maybe you could just count on your fingers. But Charan would be definitely the first person I would want to call and share or ask for help or even rely upon. The first phone call I would do is is definitely to Charan. Awesome. And and he's he's everything a friend needs to be. And he's everything a friend should be. He's everything a friend can be. And uh yeah, you know, I'm just 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 this this He's this beautiful person who can, who can literally, you know, give you a shoulder and say, you know what, it's all right, you know, Thank shit happens. Oh. The bromance, <laughs> yeah, I yeah, love it. What's the scene that isn't in the movie that you were disappointed didn't make the final cut? I could have given a better close up if he was not oh, doing geez. those things right here. If in front he of did me. not irritate me, I think I would have done a, a better job also. You know, please. The final question. Listen, there's been rumors about it. RRR Part Two. Wow. What rumors? I thought I thought SSR I thought, said, I thought said, it, said, said it on one of the I mean, I mean, one it, of the it, stages. I mean, it, it sounds like it's definitely happening, but I mean, listen, we don't know anything official. Things are always so secretive. We also don't. I mean, listen, it took four years to get this. I can't wait four years for <laughs> RRR Two. Just the announcement. Uh, Clayton, I'm on your side on this as well. So I have no clue as of now. My director has officially not told us. But yeah, I've been hearing it on the press, on the, one of the stages where he spoke after the screening, the yeah. Q&A. So yeah, I'm waiting for him to roll this news with us. It's been amazing to watch this ride. It's been amazing to watch you guys. It's been ama amazing to, for, to see Americans introduced to the talent of you two and the bromance. But no, thank you for saying, guys. Thank and, you. Uh, thank you so gonna, much. We're going to be seeing a lot more of you. Thank, thank you, you so much, Clayton. Thank you, Clayton. It's great meeting thank you. Thank you.